all right everyone welcome back in the previous video we saw how to create and store data to a csv file in batch so now here we can add a condition like if the file doesn't exist then go ahead and create it so uh, what we are we were using the this uh, call command and we were uh, creating a csv underscore file that is uh, data.csv and uh, each time you execute the script it will uh, create that file again and again so um, sometimes you may already have the uh, csv so we can add condition like if not exist the file that is a csv underscore file then go ahead and uh, create the uh, or call this command call and create this file using call and then uh, writing uh, and uh, the csv file that is data.csv so now that is that um, it will uh, we can test that so here is the data add, uh, that file and it says uh, enter employee name so let's say mm, ali and uh, 44 is the age and address is something and if i type data.csv ali is uh, added to that so now um, did it uh, did it uh, the script created this so if i uh, delete the data.csv file and execute the add.bat file again it says uh, ask let's say the employee name is ali and age is 33 and some address now if i type on data.csv as you can see uh, the point here uh, i'm going to show it show you guys as that uh, um, this uh, condition will uh, will be checking like if the file doesn't exist then go ahead and create it otherwise uh, just uh, leave the condition and execute the other stuff so now uh, in this video we will uh, learn like how we can list the uh, uh, csv records and uh, batch so uh, let's create a file list dot bat and as always we will we will use echo off and then create a csv underscore file variable where it will contain the data dot csv that is uh, right here so we can add some db data for testing so let's say ali underscore one underscore three and underscore four and this can be something and that's it now to read a uh, file uh, is i uh, type right here there we can use the type command so if I type uh, data dot csv, it um, reads that that data from the that csv and type that to the terminal. So we can use the type command. So uh, we can use that in our script as well. So if I type csv underscore file and save this file, and here we will have the list dot um, bad file. So if I type list dot bad, as you can see, it displays uh, those data to the terminal. We are using the type command. So uh, we can uh, loop through uh, this as well so uh, like reading data using a loop using for loop in batch so if i type uh, for and then we will use slash f flag and we will create a variable let's call it a and we will use n and then here we will pass uh, the same thing again like type and then the csv file and after that do this so it's like a for loop and we will just echo the echo variable the a variable so now if i save this and go back to the terminal and list the uh, bat and here it displays the uh, data so now another way uh, is we can use the pine command so to do that we can just write uh, type pine then passing the take v and take c plague and we are searching uh, for nothing passing empty string right here and then just uh, echo the a variable that is right here so it will be like for each uh, row in this csv assign that to the a variable so if i save this and execute the same uh, script again as you can see it displays those data and here it adds the line numbers as well so as you can see right here that is a uh, tag and plug so now how we can access each row uh, in this csv so like currently we have uh, the a variable that contains all the data that we have right here so now let's say somehow i need to access the 33 the edge each edge of the uh, user or uh, name i need the name or i need the index number uh, like the row number and then uh, let's say i need the address how i can access each of the data uh, to do that we can pass uh, uh, what is that called uh, tokens so here we will just type tokens and we have the three tokens the tokens are the columns that are in the data.csv file so uh, we have name age and address so these are three tokens here so i will type uh, tokens from one to three and if i from one to three dash three and if i save this 
and execute the script it displays those data but uh, let's say i need the let's say i want to uh, just print the index how i can do that to access each of the data we can uh, use uh, this operator and it, it has three tokens so it would be like starting from a and then go to b and then c uh, and those will be assigned to each of these columns so if i save this and execute the script again should uh, return the token but it didn't display that oh yeah we need to pass the uh, separator as well that is uh, delims and uh, delims and that is the array and uh, at the end we will pass the comma the comma is the separator in this csv we can pass semicolon but in this csv we have uh, the, the values are separated by comma so this can be semicolon as well uh, mostly i think in the xls files so if i save this and echo this let's execute the strip the lens it is just s and it displays the index so this is the a column now we can access the others just by uh, typing b and then c we have three so we will we can go up to uh, the address right here so if i do this it displays the names and the c will contain the edge and the uh, d will contain the error that is uh, wrong so c it is the edge and d should be the address let's pass oh yeah we have four so like the index and then three uh, column and the password we consider the index so if i save this and as you can see we display the uh, address column so now we can like uh, check um, let's say we are searching for some data in this csv we can uh, check that as well so like this is how you can um, read data from csv uh, using uh, you can use the type command as well and you can use the find command but uh, when using the type command it will uh, add the, the, the find command the type command didn't add the uh, index number so uh, you can use the find command that is that will be like the, uh, the best option to uh, read data and to access all the data you can use this variables as well so this will contain all the data that is over there but now it doesn't display so yeah that is how you can uh, list data on how you can add um, uh, list records from the csv file and you can use uh, how you can access uh, each uh, row or each column and that's csv now in the next session we will uh, learn like how we can update data in that csv and uh, how we can find specific data in that csv thanks for watching and i will see you in the next